Minister webye taka Judith Naba Koba chiguddeko ababaka ba parliament bwe bamukayu kidde oloku nyomola parliament bwe yalemererwa okusa mu nkole byasalibwa wo parliament kutaka lye nakawa nagulu akachiko ka parliament akenja ulo akalika nonyereza kutaka lye nakawa nagulu kati zula nti nyingi ku company ezawe be byapa zali za mpeo era ne kalagire byapa ebisinga bisazibwemu Ebimu kubia pebi ala giro kusazi buwamu, ye kampuni ya internal medicine of Virginia, omkule mbeza we guanga, jia ala gire wewe yika kuminatano. Chokaba nanyini ni bali meru okulavi kakeri yaka chiko kano, okuka kasobu wa nanyini. Kati abaka bata wukide minister webye taka Judith Nabakova, luwa kuzimu la vila giro vya parliament, baya wandi kida senkulu wa polisi, nga musaba uobu kumiba nanyini kampuni ya internal medicine of Virginia, wa sobolo koseta kari ya wiliwe zako yika kuminatano. Ne wankubadenga parliament, yala gire chapa chino chisazi buwemu, Kubanga company eno ya mpeo. I was in this house when that report was presented. Rattle speaker, the front bench was present. The learned attorney general, I remember, was here and some other ministers. When this report was unanimously adopted by this house with amendments, the front bench undertook to study this report and report back to this house. In fact, even said in two months they would be coming to this house and report on the actions taken. Right on speaker, is the Minister for Lands in order to come before the house today and claim that as a ministry they were not aware? Is she in order? Right Honourable Speaker, are we therefore proceeding well to be seated with the executive members here in Parliament who decide to defy the directives and the resolutions of Parliament with impunity? Minister Naba Kova Mkwanukula, ategeza zanti ya gondila vila gilo vya mkule mbeza we guanga lino jenerali yoweli kaguta mseve ni vya mua, olufa nyumara Parliament okusala okusaza mwe vya pavino. On defiance, right honorable speaker and honorable colleagues, I want to say, quoting Article 117 of the Constitution, that I'm directly responsible to the guidance of His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, but also accountable, yes, and also accountable to Parliament. Now, now the problem, Honorable Minister, take your seat. Right, Honorable Speaker. First, take your seat, Honorable. First, take your seat, Donald. Take your seat. Amyoka Speaker Thomas Tayebwa, agami enti ensongeno, ngaba kulembeza ba parliament, bagenda kujitu aleri o mkulembeza we guanga, bamonyo nyolevia saliba wa parliament kutakalino, kubange mivu ya jiriliko miyitirivu. A member has said, maybe the president was denied or was never given information as to why the development never took place was never informed by the attempts to frustrate the development efforts, which included approval of the plan that KCC refused to approve. So uh, I'm going to bring this to the attention of His Excellency the President, so that he can access this information. I'm going to inform him a member has raised the BCD, I attach all the documents, I send them to him. If they can help him in his own decision, the better. Here we are lucky, we can make our decision. That's why I have said I want to first verify 